think he's horrible. I think he's a horrible coach. I really don't like him as a teammate either, so uh, I don't know how his players feel about him. Go, 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 go! Let's go, Black! Let's go, Black! Hey, we're not doing none of that cute. We want layups. You feel me? Pop your mouth call if you need to. Yeah, yeah. Move. Yeah, get my starters in. Get my Let's starters go. in. Y'all stink. No, we don't. We really wrong. I'm about to change my. I'm gonna change my rotation. He nice. Y'all got Jerry Jack. Hey, y'all get Jerry Jack. He got them in zone. Iso. Iso. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh hey, wait a who boy? Yeah. You can't win them all. Now we like. We still A hundred. A hundred and one. You gotta lose one every time. You can't win them. All. Yeah, I better make sure I get these flicks too. Yeah, I want my pictures, man. You know what I'm saying? Make sure I get my flicks, man. What camera are we looking into? Bro, when I hit junior year, I weighed 187, bro. I finished my junior year at 187. I was 180, graduated. Ask, ask, uh, yeah, yeah. I was 185, man. I graduated. You look too much bigger than that now. Too low. Too low. <laughs> you too low. Too low. Too, too, too much bigger than that right too now. Too low. <laughs> too low. Too, you gonna see. What time God got these, these? Wait till you see me guard. You don't understand how I got sent. Wait till you see me guard. I guard them too. I guard everybody. Bro, you got two bumps and then you reach it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm reaching. You got, but you ain't gonna do you ain't just gonna look boy me. That's not gonna happen. You're gonna take two bumps and then you're gonna do your little reach. Mm -hmm. It's the first day back, you know, he already talking trash. So, you know, if we don't fight in training camp, we we gonna definitely be close to it. <laughs> Going back to your relationship for a second, uh, the Smith way. Yeah, come on. How did that, who started you know, that? What you know about it? What you know about that? <laughs> it's a mentality, man. You know, we, we both feel like we dogs out there. You know, you can't can't say you in the Smith way, you ain't no dog. Yeah. So don't be saying it if you ain't gonna back it up. Yeah, that's just what, right. what come with it. That's what come with it. But I I really don't even remember who started it. It's, it was our rookie year though. First time we met was in Dallas. We just got so much similarities in how we was brought up. You know, like I've been to Portsmouth and it's, it's like Fayetteville just in Virginia. So, you know, it's just like a family member for real. Whenever I met him, like, man, you been through that too? Or like, you seen this, you seen that, this happened to you? But it's a different path to the NBA. He was undrafted, you know, so he was like, he was fighting his way into the league. You know what I'm saying? I had mine where I was drafted as a lottery pick, so it was like, here, we're gonna put you on billboards and stuff like that. But we both got the same level of humility, so we get to see different spectrums of the league, and we could bounce ideas off of each other. Like, this is how I see things, this is how things go for me, he can tell me how things go for him. But the foundation of how we view things is the same. And it was just always me and him, because we was the only two young guys. Devin Harris, J.J. Burrell, we had straight old heads, you know what I'm saying? Dirk and Dennis was probably like 20 years apart. I could relate to them, but I, you know, I could try to put them on game about the little, you know, remember people's names and, you know, the little stuff, how you carry yourself, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I helped him too a lot, you know, with the defensive stuff. You know, at first he didn't come in really, not saying he didn't care about defense, it was just, you gotta think you're a top pick. You, you, you try to get your points, you know what I'm saying? But he sat beside me every day on a plane and Moe's used to send me my clips, you know what I'm saying? All my defensive clips, cause I, you know, I'm trying to get on the court. And then before you know it, we was watching each other. You know what I'm saying? We were now cause he sit right beside me. So we watching each other film. Now I picked on him now like, boy, you only play defense cause I told, I told you everything you know, you know what I'm saying? What allowed you to kind of be able to take your defense to another level? Because a lot of guys come on, come on, can't man. do that. Come on. He finna say himself. Come on, hey. He finna say he the reason. Hey. No, hey. <laughs> my transition to being a lockdown defender was just, is my competitive edge. I start understanding I could just have full reign over the defensive side of the ball and do whatever I feel like doing, like within the team concept, obviously, but 
I could really take control on that end. And that's a way for me to get onto the court whenever things was going sideways for me. So I started locking in. I started studying a ton of film every single day. And it transitioned. You know, you can see it in my play last season. Our schedule is crazy to start the season. We're on the road. We're playing against a lot of the top teams in the league. The talent that we're about to be facing is not going to be easy, but we have to stick together. We're being tested early, and I think it'll be good for the group. It's going to be fun. You know, I'm going to see a lot of familiar faces, but just trying to go out here and get a win. You know, I worry about everything else out there, but Family gonna be there, so I'm excited. Finney Smith, very popular. His crowd loves him, his former teammates, and you can just feel a lot of warmth. We're uh, extremely happy that he's a part of our organization right now. And uh, unbelievable human being, a joy to coach him. We love Doe and, and understand why the people of Dallas did also. Nets are going to be shorthanded tonight. We received the word two net starters are down. No Nick Claxton and no Cam Johnson tonight. Early uh, step up to the plate, which is great. So without two stars tonight, Doe will start, especially coming back to Dallas. And we'll get a chance to see some other guys play. Cam Thomas can get to the at will. That Simmons taps it out for Dinwiddie. He's going to line it up. Dinwiddie, bottom. Spencer Dinwiddie is feeling it. Dinwiddie, kick it, corner. Benny Smith sticks it. Here in game two, Luka Doncic has played at another level. The Nets come up short in Dallas. The ability to put yourself in a position to win, learn extremely fast if you lose those games, is crucial through this stretch. So we had to learn from Cleveland. I think that put us in a better position versus Dallas. We got to learn from Dallas to hopefully put us in a better position to get Charlotte. Simmons dashes right to the cup. That's what you like to see from Ben Simmons. Defense into offense. That's expressed so much upon their players of playing fast, playing with eight. Thomas into the paint. It's another 30 piece for Cam Thomas, beginning this season with three straight 30 point games. Dorian Finney-Smith plays well above what his size is and his ability to play that five spot. Excellent communicator, he's got a toughness about him and he knows how to be in the right spots. To put up that many points, over 20 assists, to be able to share the basketball, to impose our will with our pace, it's definitely how we're built to play. Now it takes an extreme amount of commitment on a nightly basis to play this way. That's why we need everybody. Uh, and tonight was a night where Lonnie comes in and, and has great minutes for us. Cam continues the way he's playing. So across the board, we got enough dudes on this team to play this way every single night and win this way. First win, and you earned it. Here we go. Right. Stand on three. One, two, three. Stand. Before we turn the page to, to Miami, uh, let's look at a few things from uh, last game. This is what we want. Short closeouts above the break. Make that dude shoot that basketball. They're a great team. They've been together for a while. You know they're going to come out. They're going to punch us in the face. And we just got to be ready to hit them back. Being a smaller guy, we know a lot of teams are going to come out and try to punk you. So how do you respond to people trying to punk you? <laughs> it's just not gonna happen, man. The kick, the jumper, splash. Dorian Finney Smith. He just looks so much more comfortable. Brooks. Oh! Brand new Armani for the Nets. They just love their depth and they believe the pieces are interchangeable. They can continue to play the same style they want to play no matter what the personnel is. And Ben Simmons gets back for the block. Simmons with the rejection. O'Neal drive. Open man. Watford splash on a tree. Everybody contributing. 
we were definitely telling each other, let's just keep going, let's keep going, let's keep going, let's not get complacent, because you know, once that momentum dies, it can die fast. So you got to keep the right mindset and keep your energy high so that you can keep uh, giving that momentum to the players that come in after you. Off the heel. Oh, what a board! Mikel Bridges! Where did he come from? And a chance at a three-point play. How could you not love this team? A gritty performance in Miami. Short-handed. The Nets win it. What a feel-good win here for a Brooklyn Nets team that is coming together. We just played for one another, man. The coaches, everybody, we just were all one unit. Just felt like us versus everybody out there. There's really nothing like it in professional sports of traveling with one another, being around each other, on the buses, in the hotel, at shoot around. When you're on the road, you have to compromise at different times of the road trip. And so that compromising fits with team basketball. So I think we've grown as a team with this road trip, whether it was fighting adversity and playing with and without people, whether it's figuring things out and uh, shoot around and communicating with each other. Uh, those things happen a lot of times on the road in the NBA. It's here, in-season tournament. We're seeing red just a little bit here in Chicago. I mean, obviously these games have weight, you know, playing on new courts, uh, things good for the fans. It should be a nice little boost of energy in the arena tonight. Walker oh! takes the opening and lays it in. Inside. Oh, rejected. Dorian Finney-Smith. Nets executing at a high level. We got unselfish guys who, you know, want to create for everybody else, and whether we're scoring ourselves or, you know, making an extra pass for an even better shot. So I think that's the way we got to play. We're going to keep doing it. Accelerates. Levine, oh, tough shot. The Nets see red in Chicago and take the in-season tournament opener. What is the chemistry like right now when you guys are out here on the court in those type of situations? I think that makes us win games at, towards the end because how close we are off the court. So it's like we come out here, we just want to help each other out, and we all want to win. So um, credit to everybody, credit to the bench, coaches, just great win. Coach said we're going to be in a lot of close games, so, you know, we got to learn from each one, and I uh, feel like we've been doing that. Hell of a job, man. From this first game to fifth game now, a lot of growth, man. A lot of growth. We got more to do. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Yes, sir, Coach. What was that, Coach? Huh? What was that? What do you got? A road what? Oh, that's a road kid. Yeah. 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 It's a get on three. One, two, three. Good, yeah. good road kid. I'm excited to be back playing with Doe. Like, I always tell people that's my closest friend in the NBA. So to be able to go out there and play with him again in what, year seven for me, I'm excited for him. How have you guys been acclimating to Brooklyn? Are you guys loving, hating the traffic? Any good food places you guys have locked down yet? I mean, we done, we done took a couple strolls around the city, you know, took some, you know what I'm saying, had my dog take some pictures of me under the bridge, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> we will walk around Dumbo, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's different, because I'm so used to being able to drive and knocking out three, four things at one time. Right now I got an Uber and I can't just load up the trunk with groceries and things like that, so I'm still trying to figure it out. To be honest, he got me out the house a little bit more than I usually am, because you know, he just like, dude, you gotta embrace this, you gotta embrace this New York energy, you know? So, um, you know, I'm happy he's here because he's helping me do that. It's a lot of life in the city, for sure. And he got on the subway, too. Yeah, I did get on the subway. Once and never again. I'll never do it again. <laughs> <laughs> I promise you, you won't catch me there. I understand that New York fans really appreciate good basketball, you know what I'm saying? They want you to go out and compete at a high level, play hard every possession, and I think we got a group of guys that can do that. I love the juice, the energy that he brings. It's contagious, uh, the competitive nature. He brings a unique competitiveness about him where it makes the team better, and he's able to give guys some of that juice that he has just because he does it every single day. I'm going to be a dog every chance I get. I'm going to compete, I'm going to fight, and I want to win games. And I think that's going to rub off on guys and Dorian the same way. So we both bring that to the team. It's, you know, you can't help but follow the suit. Thomas, a base, takes, backs, puts the foul. 25 plus assists. 
each of the first five games of this season for the Nets. There is an unselfishness across the board, and there is a clarity in the intended identity and how this group wants to play. That's on both sides of the floor. So credit to Jack Vaughn and this coaching staff of figuring out what best suits their personnel, getting that point across, and all of these players top to bottom buying in. And the Nets' three-game winning streak ends tonight at the hands of Boston. I encouraged our group to kind of just stay in this space, don't look too far ahead, understand that we're going to continue to grow in this space, and it's okay, we're going to have some good and some bad on a given night. Uh, we've evolved at being better late game execution with this group, we've evolved in our defensive schemes, and we got some guys out. So stay in this space, we'll grow together, and uh, overall I've been pretty pleased with this group. The amount of three-point shooting that Brooklyn has at its disposal, the third in the league right now in three-point percentage, first in percentage at corner threes, that has been a major factor with how they continue to find success here on the offensive side. Thomas, shot brought down to one. Thomas, that's a ball! Jim Thomas is not human! A 40-burger for Cam Thomas. Fun one, but the Nets fall to the Bucks. Still looking for their first home victory. Hey man, I'm so fired up to play again, right? This space that we in, we're gonna keep drawing this thing, man. I can't wait to play. Good job tonight. Get your rest, get back at it. The one thing that we've seen every game, the Nets believe they can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody. You've never felt at any point in any of these games that the Nets are overwhelmed or overmatched. Finney Smith gets extra possessions for this team over and over again. I think you see just the comfort level that Doe is playing with. Just coming into the year, being settled, being in Brooklyn, knowing that he's a part of us is a huge difference. Harden trying to take it in. Poke away. Smith has got it. Smith on the move. Takes a look for the trailer. Sharp plays it in. And the foul. Dennis Smith Jr. making things happen. The Nets starters have put up 44 points. The bench has produced 45. Whatever it takes has been the Brooklyn way. The first home win for the Brooklyn Nets. Strong fourth quarter performance to knock off the Clippers. We got a lot of dogs on our team, just that simple. You know, you look at Dennis. He was a, a gnat on the defensive side, trending, you know. I had a full out game earlier this morning and um, still came out and played a terrific game. So I think this is a, a clear example of just how hard and how hungry we are as a team collectively and individually, which is the greatest thing because when you put that together, you know, uh, something special happens and that kind of showed today. Yes. You heard? He didn't even say thank you for What'd that. What'd I do? He didn't even say thank you. Can you run that back? What happened? Just when you fell down and you needed to tie your shoe. Man, he ain't even know. He ain't even know. He ain't even see me, bro. So if, how much time, it's like four minutes left in the court or something like that. Why would I just hold the clock like that? You know what? For no reason. If he did do that. Hey, what you mean a, if I did? And, so and, tell me, he talking about, he talking about if I did do it like it ain't no camera. Can you say thank you? People get, you know, people get to the league and just become so ungrateful. Man. I, I, I can't, you know, I can't respect that. I just can't I, respect. I appreciate it, it bro. Yeah, 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 bro. All you have to yeah, do is say yeah. thing. But I honestly, I didn't think nobody was paying attention to me. You know, until I seen the film, and I was like, okay, bro, you, yeah, that was some some real high IQ basketball right there. So, you know, what I'm saying that was some uh some good. I only been in the league for seven years. I got no son. You know what I mean? I got no son. I got little vent moves. You feel me? Seven years in, man. The man don't want to share his chips or nothing, but he'll wait for his <laughs> basketball game, man. You know what I'm saying? But don't want to break bread. So I'm confused. It's a, it's the small things that count. I'm confused. I mean? Small things. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> The good part about kind of having a free-flowing, equal opportunity type of system is that it, it becomes plug and play. It's a credit to JV and the coaching staff. I mean, he's you know been able to throw guys in and out of the lineup and keep the mojo going. I'm fortunate enough to be able to weather the storm right now, and it's gonna be great when we actually get everybody healthy. 
straight fight. A lot of fighting this team. You know, not willing to back down at all. And even when you know shots may not be going in, everybody's next play, high effort. There's been a good vibe and a good energy with this group. And they genuinely enjoy each other and play hard for each other. There's a lot of guys with chips on their shoulders that have things to prove. And that's what you'd like to see. I mean, you take a look at our schedule, we probably played four teams that probably think they can win the championship and uh, the fifth team that was in the championship last year. And so uh, for our group to stay together through this, still try to find an identity uh, on both ends of the floor, I give them a lot of credit for staying together. Trust that we're a good enough team to get it done. The team is growing. And so uh, I challenge them, the next 10 games, let's be better than these first 10.